Assalamualaikum and good morning. So for today's class, we will learn about reasoning in uncertain situation. So previously, you may have already learned about fuzzy logic. But for today, we will try and learn about certainty factor. So uh, what is certainty factor? The certainty factor is a theory that is a popular technique to reason in uncertainty. So the basic principle of this theory were to introduce in mycin, an expert system for diagnosis and therapy of blood infection and meningitis. So the developer of mycin has found out that medical expert has expressed the strength of their beliefs that were neither logical nor mathematical consistent. So they have tried to approximate it with the confidence level of the expert in determining whether a particular uh, disease is definitely present or the symptom are definitely uh, would point to how sure they are about the disease or not. So uh, the certainty factor are measured from a value of negative 1 to positive 1.0. So it ranges from the negative number up to the positive number. So the positive number represent uh, a degree of certainty that leads towards things that we have diagnosed or things that uh, we have identified as uh, definitely identified while the value that uh, ranges in the negative would point out to the uh, diagnostic that are uh, definitely not or in the negative, okay, not uh, to the uh, uh, positive conclusion. So the maximum value of the certainty factor is uh, plus uh, 1.0 or positive 1.0, while the minimum would be negative 1.0, which is definitely false, while the plus 1.0 is Definitely true. So here are the formula of measure of belief. So I don't think that you need to read this uh, any further depth. But uh, I believe that if I show you the example, you might be able to answer it in the final examination. So let's say that you have this rule. The rule that say that the sky is clear, then the forecast is sunny. So the certainty factor for this whole rule is 0 0.8 uh, you have a 0 0.8 okay however you can see that the certainty factor for the sky is clear is 0 0.5 so to calculate for the whole uh, certainty if the Antecedent have been matched up with the sky is clear is that you need to multiply 0 0.5 with 0 0.8. So therefore, you have the certainty factor for the forecast is sunny would be 0 0.5 times 0 0.8. So you will get 0 0.4. So when you found out 0 0.4 is the result, Right, if you found out that 0 0.4 is the result, you have to refer to this table. So, this table say that 0 0.4 would be maybe. So, you can say that it may be sunny. Okay, the forecast would be maybe sunny. Okay, the forecast would be maybe sunny because of. The certainty is only 0 0.4. So 0 0.4 means maybe. Next, we will look into the certainty factor of multiple antecedent. So you may have a certainty factor that have n. So when you have an n, you need to find the minimum. Okay, the lowest of the value. So let's say that you are being given that the certainty factor for this rule would be 0 0.8 and then the certainty factor for the sky is clear is 0 0.9 and then temperature is hot is 0 0.8 and then the forecast is sunny is 0 0.7 then uh, find the, conf uh, the certainty factor for action is wear sunglasses so you have to find the minimum value so when you 
find out about n, bila kita kena guna n, when you need to find about n, the sensitivity factor using n, then you need to find the minimum value. So, the minimum value between 0 0.9, 0 0.8 and 0 0.7 would be 0 0.7. So, minimum of 0 0.9, 8 and 7 is 0 0.7. You times it with 0 0.8. So, where you get, uh, when, where do you get the 0 0.8 is from here. Okay, up here. So, 0 0.7 times 0 0.8 would be 0 0.56. So, therefore, the answer would be, it is probably, okay, probably a good idea to wear sunglasses. So, action is wear sunglasses. That is, may uh, you have to uh, add in the modifier. Probably, it is a good idea to wear sunglasses. Probably, where does it came from? You have to refer it to the table. 0 0.56. So, almost uh, we 6. Okay, uh, it is between 0 0.55 to 0 0.74. So, it fall under probably. So, you can say that it is probably good idea to wear sunglasses. Okay, what if you have disjunctive rule? Say okay, one, you have adjunctive. Adjunctive means and, but disjunctive means or. So, if you have a, a disjunctive rule such as or, then it can be safe to assume that it will be max okay you have to find the maximum number so max so this is same as before right the sky is clear uh the sensitivity factor for the sky is clear is 0 0.9 temperature is hot is 0 0.8 and then the cf or certainty factor for the forecast is sunny is 0 0.7 and then the certainty factor for this whole rule would be 0 0.8 so, you need to calculate the certainty factor for action is wear sunglasses. Then, you need to find the highest number. So, the highest number between all of these three is 0 0.9. So, you need to time 0 0.9 with 0 0.8. So, this is the formula. So, you have 0 0.9 times 0 0.8. So, you get 0 0.72. So, it can be interpreted as almost certainly wear sunglasses okay almost certainly to wear sunglasses so where do you get almost certainly you get it from also this table all right it's almost certainly but as you may see that this table say that it is probably so uh it can be said that this note uh, might need some correction so note ni sepatutnya tulis probably uh, masih lagi dalam lingkungan probably then in the final examination sometime you may also be faced with a certainty factor that have multiple rule with the same hypothesis so what is meant by the same hypothesis is mean that uh the precedent uh, sorry the right Okay, the antecedent would be equal. Now, although they came out from different rule. So, something like this. Okay, you have, if tomorrow is raining, then uh, if today is raining, then tomorrow is raining. If today is dry, then tomorrow is rain. Okay, the... Okay, they have the same conclusion. Okay, they have the same conclusion or the same antecedent. But with different rule. So, if you are faced with this situation, then you need to follow this formula. So, the formula is simple. So, if you have this, uh, faced with this uh, situation in the final exam, you only need to remember the Simplest formula, so this formula, CF1 plus CF2 times 1 minus CF1. Okay, just like this. So which are CF1 and which are CF2? So CF1 are the uh, okay lower level rule, which is the rule that came first. And then CF2 is the rule that came afterwards. So you can see here. 
Alright. Okay. You can see here. You have to calculate the rule for CF1. So let's say that uh, the today is raining and today is dry. So we can calculate the CF1. Okay. Like this. So you have uh, 0 0.9 times 0 0.8. So you will get 0 0.72. Next, you calculate for CF2. So CF2, you have today is dry. 0 0.1. So it's 0 0.1 times 0 0.5. So you get 0 0.05. So you use this formula to calculate the CF for both uh, rule. So you can have 0 0.72 plus 0 0.05 times 1 minus 0 0.72. So you will get 0 0.72 plus 0 0.05 times 0 0.28 if I'm not mistaken so you have 0 0.72 plus so you uh, whip out a calculator 0 0.28 so 0 0.0114 so the answer would be 0 0.744 so this is the final answer. Okay, final CF. So you can get it uh, from here, right? Okay, final CF. That is 0 0.734. Okay, just like this. Sorry, 734. Okay, just like this. So it can be interpreted that tomorrow probably will rain. Okay, this is another example for one positive and one negative CF. Also, although these have never been asked in the final examination. Okay, the formula would be CF1 plus CF2. Divide by 1. Uh, minimum value of C either CF1 or CF2. Okay, this is if you have a answer that leads to 1. Uh, negative and one positive CF. Okay, let's see like this. Okay, let's see something like this. So, you, let's see that you calculate for CF1, you get a positive value. But another CF, when you calculate it with a negative, you get it a negative value. So, when this happens, you have to use this formula. So, with uh, CF1 plus CF2, 1 minus minimum of CF1 and CF2 divided by so you will get this, and then this will become a uh, uh, sub subtract, and then you get uh, 0 0.67, and then divide by 1 minus 0 0.05. So you divide here, so you will get 0 0.705. Okay, this is in case if you get the CF, uh, you mix it between uh, positive and negative. Okay, next is the situation where you will get uh, both negative CF. Okay, here. Case 3, which is both negative CF. So, if that's the case, you may have to use this formula, which is very similar to uh, the both positive uh, CF. So, the both positive CF, you have to use 1 minus CF1. But if in case of the both negative CF, you have to use 1 plus CF1. Okay, otherwise, it is all the same. Okay, if you have to handle both negative and uh, both negative, you have to use it all the same. Alright, I think that's all for our class for today. So, I trust you that you have already learned about fuzzy logic. So, we'll be seeing you on the next uh, class where I will be showing you how to answer the exercise question and how to answer the final examination question on videos. Be seeing you on the next class.